Hi, this is Riley Dops with Seattle Pacific Women's Soccer. Riley, your team just uh, posted a very impressive 3-0 win over Montana State Billings. Your thoughts on that game? Um, we're definitely stoked. Uh, we uh, showed up today knowing what we needed to do, and uh, first half was a little rocky trying to figure out um, how our formation was going to work against their system. Um, and um, second half, we just came out and put it away. What was the key? Were there any adjustments made in the second half, or what was the key to getting all three goals in the second half? I think just being able to come together and um, and talk about what was working, what wasn't working, so we could all get on the same page. I think that helped us a lot, and it, it helped us to um, kind of rejuvenate that spirit that we needed to get out there and, and get hungry for the ball again. The middle of those two goals, SVU's second goal was scored by you. Would you uh, describe what happened on that play? Um, well, we've been working really hard on our set pieces. We're really proud of those. Um, and so Chuck's got some good ones that we, he has us running. So, And Diaz is great at serving balls. Um, so she put a perfect ball in, um, and it was kind of pinging around the box, came out, and I just finished it. I, it on that shot, do you did you see an opening, or is that one you're just putting it right back on goal as hard as you can? I'm surprised it went in, honestly. <laughs> I just drilled it and hoped something good would happen, and it did, so. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, this was your uh, second high-scoring game of the week. You also had a 4-1 win on Thursday. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on how the offense is coming around here? Um, I honestly think that it's the change of our formation that's done it for us. Um, I love playing a 4-4-2 lineup, and um, I'm most comfortable as an outside mid, and that helped me because I was playing outside back for a while. Um, so I think it just helped us gain control of the middle of the field, um, and it's something that we're used to. We played it all season last season, so it's just kind of settling back into the old, the old system that we knew, um, which was really good for us, and I think it helped settle us down and connect because we knew where people were going to be. A game like this, it's that time of year where you start thinking about the conference standings. This had a big uh, play in that as you uh, leaped into second place over mm -hmm. Billings. Uh, your thoughts as you're the three-time defending champions, thoughts as we end the this season here uh, on your shots at a GNAC title? Um, we're confident. Um, we're just planning on winning the rest of our games here on out and then we go into the tournament and as long as we keep winning games we're gonna um, keep getting the outcome that we want so we're we're not worried. <laughs> Last thing, um, you were at home today and you have just one more home game next week so you're gonna have to do some uh, do some work on the road here. Mm -hmm. uh, your thoughts on what you'll need to be successful on the road? Um, going out on the road takes definitely a lot of focus. Um, it's hard playing in a place that you're not used to against people who hate you, obviously. <laughs> um, so uh, a lot of focus and just a lot of us coming together and um, and knowing that we're gonna we're gonna go out to somebody else's house and shake things up. So great, thanks very much. Thanks.